Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 892, the category Friday Night Pub Quiz. Number 23, this is a 21-question trivia quiz. 20 questions up front, question 21 at the end of the video if you need a tiebreaker. All of these questions come from random categories with various levels of difficulty should be a pretty good time thank you for watching and good luck question number one this word comes from an algonquin word meaning kinship group often made from cedar one of the tallest at 173 feet is in british columbia what are these tribal emblems of the pacific northwest indians consisting of pillars carved and painted with animal figures. The answer is totems or totem poles. Question number two. The loop quantum theory of this force attempts to unify it with the other three fundamental forces as does string theory. On Earth, Acceleration due to this force is about 9.8 meters per second squared. What is this force believed to be enormously strong in black holes? The force we're looking for is gravity. Question number three. This city had seven kings but they were driven out following the attack on Lucretia. Its founders, Romulus and Remus, were the twin sons of Rhea Silvia. What is this city on the banks of the Tiber, home to people like Cicero and Julius Caesar? The answer is Rome. Question number four. Seven months after the ratification of the Articles of Confederation, the Americans handed the British their final defeat at what battle where Cornwallis surrendered to American and French troops? That final battle was the Battle of Yorktown. Question number five. In Isaac Bashiva Singer's Stories for Children, this figure can allegedly change children into hedgehogs, rats, or frogs. This character flies in a mortar, wields a pestle, and steals little children. Who is this Slavic folk character that lives in a chicken-legged house? Her name? is Baba Yaga. Question number six. Their teeth tend to have fairly flat crowns and they do not have canines for biting meat. Contrasted with carnivores and omnivores, what are these animals which basically eat only plants? The answer is herbivores. Question number seven. Darzee the tailor bird and Chukundra the muskrat help this character, though he does the real fighting, and defeats the cobra Najina. Who is this mongoose, the titular protagonist of a Rudyard Kipling story? That mongoose is Ricky Tiki Tavi. Question number eight. He became president after Leon Cholgosh assassinated his predecessor, William McKinley. Who is this president, the 1912 nominee of the Bull Moose Party, who, during the Spanish American War, led the Rough Riders to victory at the Battle of San Juan Hill?
The answer is Theodore Roosevelt. Question number nine. This musical is a modernized version of the Puccini opera La Boheme. One character, Collins, teaches computer age philosophy as he mentions in the song Santa Fe. What is the title of this musical featuring the song Seasons of Love? The answer is Rent. Question number 10. Tribes described by this term include the Baca, the Bambuti, and the Twa. Theories for their unusual characteristic include a lack of food or vitamin D. What is the name for these groups found in Africa and other places whose adult members are usually less than 59 inches tall? The answer is pygmy. Question number 11. There are only three countries in the world that begin with the letter F. Fiji is one of them. What are the names of the other two countries, both located in Europe, that have names beginning with the letter F? The answer is France and Finland. Question number 12. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, this desert forms part of the southwestern border of the Great Basin. What is the name of this desert, the lowest and hottest area in North America? The answer is Death Valley, which is in the Mojave Desert, so either one of those will work. Question number 13. Along with the Persian Empire, this empire dominated much of the Middle East during the 16th century, and the Treaty of Versailles dissolved it in the 20th. What is the name of this empire, the birthplace of Mother Teresa, which basically became Turkey? The answer is the Ottoman Empire. Question number 14. He appears on the obverse of the District of Columbia Quarter along with a piano. Who is this jazz musician known for pieces like It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing and Take the A Train, a member of jazz royalty? Those were songs by Duke Ellington. Question 15. Three types of this structure are bunker, tower, and bag. What is the name for these tall cylindrical towers often found on farms in which fodder and silage are stored? Silage is often stored in a silo. Question 16. Perhaps his most famous opera is Eugene Wungen, which contains a 15 minute long letter aria. He also wrote ballets like Swan Lake and orchestral pieces like the 1812 Overture. Who is this Russian composer of the Nutcracker? The answer is Tchaikovsky, Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Question 17. In human nutrition, necessary bulk minerals beginning with P are phosphorus and this element. Although it starts with a P, its atomic symbol is K from the Latin 
Kallium. What is this element found in bananas and seawater? The answer is potassium. Question 18. These animals usually have moist skin to help them respirate. Their name comes from the Greek for double life, since they live in both water and on land. What are these vertebrates, examples of which include salamanders and frogs? The answer is amphibians. Question number 19. The heavily polluted Ganges River flows through this country, whose capital is New Delhi. Another river, the Indus, nursed a Bronze Age civilization. What is this country the birthplace of Mohandas Gandhi? The answer is India. Question number 20. Scott Engel and others recently discovered that this star is 1.5 times brighter than it was when first observed by Ptolemy. What is the name of this star, often called the North Star, which lies almost directly above the North Pole? The real name of the North Star is Polaris. Alright, that is it for today's trivia quiz. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trivia. You probably noticed yesterday's trivia got up a little bit late, like uh, to the tune of earlier this morning. So we just did a Thursday night trivia. Today was Friday Night Trivia. Both of those were random trivia quizzes, 21 questions. That's what most people seem to like. And those are the easiest to write because I don't have to stick to a specific theme and come up with 21 questions from a certain category. So I have to do less trivia, not trivia, less research on them. So they're a little bit easier to write. You'll notice I have a very busy weekend coming up. So tomorrow we're going to do lightning round trivia we normally do it on sunday but now we're going to do it on saturday and sunday at least this weekend uh lightning rounds 15 and 16. those are random trivia quizzes also but the questions are shorter the answers come faster next week we should smooth out a little bit but next week is my final week of work here in england i'll be wrapping up next week so it's a little bit busy a little bit hectic next week also uh, but then after that, we're starting to get ready. We're starting to pack stuff. We're starting to ship stuff home. We'll be moving back to America here in now about a month. But we're going to actually fly back home later this month to start looking for houses, uh, look at cars, look at all the stuff we're going to have to take care of once we, once we land. That way we don't land and have to start everything on top of finding jobs and working and all that. So it's going to be a hectic next couple of months. I just need a little bit of patience from you guys if I get behind on some of these trivia quizzes I'll try not to my goal is to stay on top of them but if I do we're on episode number 892 right now which means you could probably reasonably go back to the 100s and 200s and start playing those again if you needed to because I'm sure you've forgotten most of those quizzes by now it'd be like a new quiz since there's been 700 in between them like I said, the goal is for me to stay on top of them, but I can just tell it's going to be a hectic few weeks coming up. So I got some plans to kind of alleviate that towards the end of summer when we're actually getting ready to move. But I'm not ready to discuss them just yet because it's kind of a surprise. So for today, we're just going to go into the tiebreaker question, question 21 for Friday Night Pub Quiz. Good luck.
Characters in this novel include St. Clair, Eliza, and Simon Legree, who owns the titular character. What is this novel by Harriet Beecher Stowe, credited with helping to start the American Civil War? The answer is Uncle Tom's Cabin. All right, that's it for today. See you tomorrow for a weekend of lightning round trivia.